Alright, what's up YouTube? You know who it is, Santo Chavez, and it's about about 10:51, 11 o'clock. Um, yeah, it now I'm starting to do videos because I have more free time. My work schedule is like pretty much my life is being stable, so which is a good thing. Today is more of a questions and answers video, and I do have plenty of questions. And so we're just gonna really just go down the list. So, okay. All right, this first question he says, Hey Santos, I saw the video where you were gonna talk about being modeling and being a shirtless model. Um, how do you get, uh, how would you get a quick pump before going on, before, you know, being out there shirtless? All right, it's a good question. This also relates to bodybuilding, pre-contest, and all this stuff. Um, giving a pump is something where you're working and stimulating your muscles. It's not really making it grow. It's just giving you the pump. Be like, oh man, it feels good. Like, oh, I want to, you know, just to be able to, you're just to be able to work your muscles and to wake up your muscles, pretty much. You know. So he's saying, how would you get a pump? Well, for me, since I am going to do a Black Friday sale for Hollister, I'm going to be a shirtless model greeter. And there should be, um, I should be able to put a link on the bottom. But if anything, you could just check out my channel and just check out the other, that, that video. It's the Hollister greeter. Just type it in YouTube or I, or, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is the first question I asked about this question. So I'm, if more people ask for it, I will put the link uh under this video that i'm gonna make but he's about a pump okay my suggestion is if you want a quick pump i mean do the basic push-ups planks sit-ups um you know in pull-ups i mean just a quick pump you know be, be able to like dips or you know body dips or don't do squats calf raises because your legs are already working just by standing there and just walking around so your legs do not need a pump literally your legs do not need a pump because you're constantly standing you're constantly moving unless if you've been sitting down then you know you can be like okay i need to at least get a pump you know like flex or squats or lunges you know but anyways you do not for any reason any reason do not pump up your legs or your calves, okay? Because they're already getting the pump from walking and standing, okay? So your legs do, your legs and your calves do not, excuse me, do not need a pump. Okay, my suggestion is if you want a quick pump, I suggest they're very, very cheap, very cheap. Go to Target, Walmart, Big Five, any sports store, buy resistant bands they will save you a tons tons of time okay um like i said um like i said um doing a quick pump is just working your muscles so when you're doing a resistant band you're doing you could do bicep curls you could do uh side laterals or you could do um rows or you could do pull downs, or you could do push ups, having resistance. You know, you can, you can do so much with the resistance band. Like you could think of, you could think of, uh, think of anything you can do in like that instance. Like okay, I need to work on my chest, so I could either connect it to something and do flies, or do crossovers, or do push ups with the resistance band. Or I, I need to do my shoulders, so I'll do side raises or shoulder press or front raises. You can do so much. So to answer your question, how do you get a quick pump? For body weights, do body weight movements, or you could do resistance bands, okay? All right. This other question I got. It says, hey, Santos, um, I know I can tell you were very skinny, and you probably didn't have really good genetics, but when you started to bulk up or started to realize you had results, what was your next move? Okay. Me, I'm different. I am unique. And I'm going to tell you why. Not just because I'm saying it. It's because I'm telling you. I did not bulk up 
when I started working out. I didn't focus on getting big. I focused on getting cut. So I did... I did medium, between medium to modern weight, but with a lot of reps, but with few sets. The most sets is probably three. But, um, see, that was me. I focused on getting cut because I wanted my muscle to show. That was me. That was my game plan, and it has been working for me, okay? That's all, that's all I could tell you um so pretty much honestly the only if i were to honestly say the only times i did three sets were to be my calves my lower back and my traps when i was bare when i was a beginner you know and finding out what my next move was those were the only ones i did three sets i was just focused on getting cut the most, the minimal reps I did was 30. The maximum reps I did was 100. Yeah, that might be stupid, but that was me. That was my game plan. Anyways, um, my next move after I got my muscle shown, I was like, okay, I'm going to start focusing on getting bigger. So what do you do when you get bigger? Obviously, lift heavy weight, less reps. Sets between... Three to four. Increase the weight and decrease the reps. And I've been doing good so far. It's been working out for me. I've been able to lift heavy weight. And, you know, it's it's been working for me. So that was my... So I can't really tell you because I wasn't in that phase and bulking and then cutting down. I wasn't into that. I was into cutting first. Like showing my muscles, getting my muscles there, like be able to show my cuts, you know. Then I was focused on getting bigger. So, I mean, I can't really help you there, but my best thing is cut down. It, no, not cut down. Cut down the weight, but do more reps so that way you could stimulate your muscles. But... Also, you're working the muscle because you're go- doing with good form, not just standing in one direction. You're actually moving it. Like if you're doing chest press, a lot of people go like this. They're not really doing anything. But since you want to cut, now since you're bulking and you want to cut down, at least you got you to gotta squeeze, okay? Or even shoulder press. Like you see people, when they're trying to cut up, they go like this. Don't try to do that. Go up, and that's pretty much it, you know? Just when you're cutting up, bulking, yeah, you have to have a power form. I understand that. When you're cutting, make the reps count, every single one of them. Take me, for instance. My minimum rep was 30. My highest rep was 100. That's just me. So, I mean, I can't really help you there, but that's all I can say is now since you're bulking up and now since you want to know where your next next move is if you want to start cutting down is decrease the weight but focus more on your form and how many reps you do each set then from there you could increase the reps or increase the weight but try to keep it in the sets between three to four and that's it okay so that's all i can say um i have this other question He's like, okay, this <laughs> one's kind of funny. Okay, here's this other one. He's like, hey, Santos, what are some good shoes to wear? And comment or message me ASAP. All right. Shoes. Um, honestly, my brand is on Armour. I don't wear Nike. Adidas, Reeboks, all I wear is on armor. But this has worked for me. This has worked for me since day one. Whenever I train legs, whenever I do squats, front squats, leg press, one leg press, um, hack squats, um, what else, what else, what else? Calf raises. 
lunges. Whenever I do something that requires my legs or or deadlifts, my or deadlifts, what else is there? Um so deadlifts and anything with leg movements, I always go bare feet. For me, because I like to keep my balance on a flat surface so I can put all the weight on my heel. You notice some shoes now, their heels are either too low, like some of the heels are like too low, or some of them are way too high. For me, I have Under Armour shoes that are flat, but I normally take them off when I do legs because they just, they, they like mess up my knees. So whenever I went bare feet, like my knees don't hurt me, even when I lift heavy weight. But um, that's, my suggestion is if you want to get shoes, like brand new shoes, be like Chris Jones, Nick Wright, or Matt Ogus, or I think Tiger Fitness has them too. I'm not really sure. But they all... Some of them, I'm not saying all of them, some bodybuilders, some, I mean just some, but I'm naming some that I've seen, that I have seen. They all wear Converse because Converse is a flat, smooth surface that you're able to put all your weight on the heel, so which means it gives you all the power and strength. Chris Jones, on the other hand, goes bare feet sometimes. That's me. It's worked for me. It's worked for him. I take that advice from him, and it works for me. But... And also try not to get shoes that have a squishy um a base. I call it a base. I don't know what to call this. Nah, I think it's the sole that's on the bottom of the shoe. Yeah, make sure the base of your shoe is not squishy because then you're gonna you're really gonna like snap your shit up. Shout out to Hosh Twins by the way. You're really gonna snap up your shit up because the squishy. Uh, foam that you have on the bottom of your the base of your feet on the shoes it's not really going to give you much support yeah it'll give you cushion but it's not going to give you that support you need when you're going to squat front squat or even do deadlifts you need shoes that are somewhat hard but you need shoes to have a strong support base system on the bottom so that way it won't mess up your knees and it won't mess up your balance so that's really much all I can say about that so um, I'm pretty much going to end this, uh, I'm going to end this channel and catch, uh, catch me again with more uh, questions and answers and I'm probably going to do a part two to questions and answers. So just catch me on my other videos. And if you want to, some links to other videos, let me know, comment, message me on the description box. You know my email already. Just Comment me whatever you guys want to know or ask. Don't be afraid, okay? It's a fitness channel. I'm trying to spread the word out to fitness, you know? So you guys know where I am. It's SAC4 Muscles on YouTube. Or, you know, just find me and message me and comment me. Whatever you want. Rate it. Like it. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.